Is that zombie doing in my easy boy? Nope. Are you out of your corn fed? Nope. Of course. Hell no. Seen it. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Pout Gaming. Um, today we're going to be starting our brand new science tune. Um, today with me also I have Darth Proteus. He's going to be giving me some pointers because I've never rolled a science tune before. He's come to the science school over around here, so I'm going to let him kind of give me some of the ins and outs and probably take everything he says and just throw it away because I'm obnoxious that way. So, say hello, Proteus. Hello. Mm -hmm. And yes, he is obnoxious. Mm -hmm. So anyways, um, started out with absolutely nothing. I already talked to Quinn. Um, yeah, uh, I went ahead and uh, selected the Obereth science vessel. I went ahead and got out of the, uh, the, the Miranda and got into this and stuff like that. It is a 500 Zen ship, but I believe that was a giveaway like a year or two ago. I forget what it was given away for. Um, I'm not sure, but I think they were. it was like some like three or four day run where they were doing like I might have been an anniversary where they were giving away stuff every day for like five days or something like that mm -hmm. yeah yeah but the ship itself is pretty unremarkable um, it besides it being a science ship and stuff but the reason why I like the ship is because of the console it came with the enhanced plasma manifold mm -hmm. it, it's yeah a good, it's a good console to start off with yeah it's something I mean it's nice and stuff like that I mean it's good stuff so yeah too yeah, you get a good that. boost to the auxiliary with that one, so it's pretty good stuff for science. Yeah, luckily for us, though, like, first mission, stuff like that, we don't have to worry about putting right stuff on anything. Basically, um, from beginning to end, um, until level 60, we're not going to worry about gear too much. We're not going to worry about upgrading. We're just going to save absolutely everything. EC, Dilithium, everything we get, we're just going to save it until we get to level 60. Yeah, because, I mean, you, you don't want to waste any of your your resources on stuff leveling up, because a lot of the stuff you're going to get in the missions and stuff like that can actually be useful mm -hmm. as you're leveling up, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, see, that's a lot of, because of the, the build videos I get, a lot of people want build videos for starting out, and it's, it's not necessary. I mean, you could basically put potatoes on everything and beat all the content. Yeah, I mean, the, basically the rule of thumb that most of us have when we're doing um, any tor sort of brand new characters is get torpedo spread on there and a torpedo, and you'll do you'll do fine for the rest of your leveling. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny thing. I don't even have a torpedo on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well. Well, you don't really need it for science because science has a lot of strong abilities, mm -hmm. you know, leveling up anyway. So, I mean, once you get access to your first gravity well, it's pretty much game over. Yeah, I look forward to that and stuff, because right now it's like, I feel like I'm flying a shuttle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the, the low-end science ships are a little meh. They leave a lot to be desired. Spock's talking at the moment. Oh, God. Is he congratulating you on making your choice of being a science team? No, it's whenever you uh, go into sector space the first time in your ship. Oh, yeah, that's right. the rundown. Space, the final frontier. <laughs> You're doomed. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I'm moving so slow through space, man. I'm triggered. Oh. I'm so triggered. Yeah, that's, that's that's another thing I can't stand about making new tunes is you move at the snail's pace through sector space now. It, it's even worse now after they did the revamp. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I mean, I have other tunes, I just don't play them. They're just basically mules and dilithium grinders. That's about it. My main tune is Astro Zombie, so... Yeah, mo most of my tunes are dilithium grinders. I mean, I've ground them up to, you know, level, and they've got decent gear to get through some of the STFs and stuff, but mainly I play my science tune and, you know, one or two of my tactical tunes now and then, but other than that, I don't play the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, entering the mission. It's the mission. Yeah, I did this mission last night. I don't remember anything that happened to it. I, it's freaking cold Any medication, man. <laughs> We're being pursued by... It's 
absolutely beautiful though with all this new lighting and stuff makes it yeah I'm, I'm enjoying the new lighting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some of it's a little too bright <laughs> but you know <laughs> oh the emo uh Raymond. i love that mm. vision it's too bright. Somebody get this man a Happy Meal. Hey, anybody got some Ray-Bans? <laughs> blood, blood. Shut this guy up, will you? Yeah, and um, I'm using that, um, the Doth pack that we got from Star Trek Las Vegas. Mm. A lot of people are going to be like confused, like wanting to know where they get that. You can't get it, unfortunately, unless you get a code. And yeah, and the only way to get a code is either attend a convention or prove that you were at a convention with a picture. Yeah, I don't even know if they're still doing that, though, to be quite honest. I don't, I don't think they're doing the, the picture proof anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody noticed my power levels. I went ahead and put all my power into weapons and auxiliary. Everything else is whatever. I don't really need anything in the auxiliary at the moment because I don't have anything. Um, yeah, at that level, you don't have a whole lot of science abilities to worry about the auxiliary. Yeah, just like uh, the next time, or the episode after this, I'll go through key binds and show you how I set up my key bind. It's very simple. It's literal span, space, bar, get good type of thing. Yeah, until you get to the high end, that's a little bit more complicated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Because one of one of the keys to being, you know, successful science build is knowing what complements what. Mm -hmm. and when to trigger certain abilities so that you get the most benefit out of all of it. And that's the science of it, pun intended. <laughs> well, just a quick note here and stuff. In options, because I'm going to be doing a lot of um, aiming. We hit X to aim. Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Advanced. Audio. Controls. You can scroll down all the way down where it says uh, aim as toggle. I turn that on. Because otherwise, every time you hit X, it'll go bounce back up. So you just hit X once and it goes. As you can see yeah. here, my DPS is 58. I am aiming, immediately jumps up to 75. Small little things you can do to increase DPS. Yeah, there's a lot of little things, especially on the ground you can, you can take care of. Because science on the ground is... It used to be the king of the ground, but recently a lot of things have changed. But it's starting to come back as a, as a viable ground build again. Some of my favorite things on the ground, though, are things that make other people's cringe. <laughs> Why are you using that? Because I like it. It does Psy magic. Psy magic. Uh. Man down, man down. Somebody call a medic. Oh, it's the weird little optionals that they have. You don't have to do, but you can do for accolades. Mm. Yeah, I've never been one for the accolades. I'm like, does it make me kill things quicker? Most of the time, no, not so much. So I'm like, yeah, I'm out. The only real accolades I go for are the kill one. Mm -hmm. or, or the energy type ones, where you're mm -hmm. doing certain types of damage. Because those actually have um, passive bonuses associated with them. Mm-hmm. Some of them are good, some of them are, eh. Mm. Yeah, one down. Yeah, also, I'm not going to go sit here and let, let the dialogue go through and stuff like that. I'm just going to skip through it. Smart man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I mean, everybody's done these before, I'm pretty sure. And if you're starting out for the first time watching this video and wanting to see what you're going to do, I... I'll leave it up to you to do the reading. I'm American. I don't read so much. <laughs> it's the problem with most people. They don't read anything. I don't read so good. My reading level's not that great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you're so lucky you can't hear this right now. I'm using the, uh, the retro phasers. <laughs> oh, jeez. I gave them to all the ground tunes as well. It's obnoxious. Actually, I have a tune set up with uh, one of my other science tunes is actually set up with the ground toss tunes, mm -hmm. and they all have retro gear. It's it's an obnoxious as hell. 
Yeah, especially when somebody PMs you. They're like, really, dude, really? I'm like, yep. My reply to that is, my immersion, bro. <laughs> it's all about that roleplay, son. Don't ruin my immersion. Speaking of immersion, K13 has got so much roleplay hate know, lately. Oh my god. Ooh, there goes my phone. I should probably turn that off. Probably should put that on silent. Nah. It's... Or learn to get good. Mm. I'm sure I'm missing something right now. Somebody's probably going to yell at me, like, you, you missed an accolade or something. Yeah. Like, nah. I'm lazy. That's nah, not the point of this tune. Is This tune is not, you know, to get all the accolades. This tune is to, to do some science stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'm basically a noob when it comes to this, because, like I said, I know absolutely squat about science, man. I mean, because science, to me, it's always been about healing and debuffing and, you know, control antics. You know, gathering stuff up in grab wells or sucking the life force out of it. Yeah. As opposed to engineering, there's supposed to be tanks and, you know, healers, I guess. I, I don't know, dude. It, it's just a shame that it's all completely unbalanced and TAC can do basically the role of a science character or an engineering character better. And that's... Yeah, I don't understand their logic yeah, behind that. that's kind of uh, obnoxious. Uh, also, you're not going to see my mouse move around a lot when I'm on ground and stuff because I, I use my keyboard 100%. Really? Oh, yeah, when I'm on ground, I don't click anything. Everything's keyboard. Because right now, it's only like 1 through 0. You know, 1 through 9 and then 0. And I just punch mm -hmm. it out manually that way. I don't need to click on anything because I tap through it. Yeah, I guess you really don't need to use your mouse at all on the yeah. ground. Nah, I never do. Like, it, it, space is another thing, because, I, I mean, I still bind a lot of stuff to spacebar, but I click out my heals and um, other damage-type things here and there, but pretty much, like, my FAW, my attack team, um, any of my attack patterns and stuff, like, I all go in spacebar. I have most of my uh, science tunes have... Most of their stuff is, like, clicky. I mean, it's assigned to a key on my G13, but um, the only thing I have really spamming is, like, you know, some of the debuffs and maybe a heal or two. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I, I manually trigger just about everything on the science tune. Yeah. And people have called me bad for doing it, but yet my numbers are there, so, hmm. <laughs> well, see, Must be doing good. something, right? That's another thing, and a lot of you don't understand, uh, Proteus, when he does his builds, it is pure 100% science only. He doesn't sit there and focus on, like, you know, what us tax do with beam weapons and whatnot. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't do a whole lot of focus on beams. I mean, yes, there are beams on, on my builds, mm -hmm. and yes, I do, do use fire at will, but the fire at will is not there to cause damage. It's there to get more procs out of my beams and all the different science triggers that the beams are causing. Mm -hmm. That's what they're there for. But when you look at my parses, um, my top DPSers are usually the exotic damage abilities. Mm. And not, let's say, you know, torps or beam weapons or anything like that. Because I like the true exotic builds. Because I am the mad scientist. <laughs> Sorry, it was a little over the top. <laughs> <laughs> nerd. Yeah, pretty much. Get wrecked, nerd. I'm a geek and I love it. Oh, I can't so do believe. the ladies. I can't believe how easy this is, man. It's well, slow. science is, is pretty nice. Um, it's got a little bit more survivability when you're first starting out. You can last longer in a fight. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as the damage output... Lower end, you're not really seeing a whole lot of damage output because you're still a low level tune. You got a really crappy ship to start with. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it just it gets better as you go up. 
But once you get to that first lieutenant commander uh, science slot on your ship, and you get that first gravity well, then it's game on. Let the science begin. Yep. Speaking of science beginning, dude, we're done. Nice. Yeah, first mission done in the bag. Um, yeah. So basically, we're going to wrap it up and stuff like that. Uh, in the future, let me know what you want out of this Let's Play. Um, Protis will be back again for here and there for well done. when I up, when the character, you know, basically time. levels up and stuff like that because he's going to help me build this character properly, the right way. And we're just going to stick with science ships doing purely science. No crazy tactical crap, any of that jazz, so... We have a diplomatic mission for All right, Proteus, we'll say goodbye. Go goodbye. Goodbye, peoples. Bye. Daddy, it's only logical. Chakotay.